All right, guys, so for today's video, I'm going to start talking about how one simple Instagram auto converting funnel generated 51K cash in 30 days. And this is guys with only $626 in ad spend, less than 1000 followers and almost no content needed to nurture the leads, okay? I really suggest you guys watch this video to access speed, that way you're going to save some time. And not only that, if you want to get access to this document, you can get it by joining my free Facebook group with the link in the description. That said, if you really don't use Facebook that much, you can just go, go to my Instagram and DM me the word access and I will send this your way, okay? Let's get started right away because this is going to be an absolute banger and my promise is that by the end of this video, you're going to be able to generate similar results to this by yourself in case that you wanted to, or you can hire us to help you fast track that, of course. But I'm going to show everything. I will literally tell you, first of all, how an auto conversion funnel works in general. Then I'm going to show you the actual way we use this for our Instagram account. And not only that, I'm going to show you how to apply this for your own business and your offer. Okay. So stick till the end because this is going to be an absolute banger from A to C. Okay. Now I just want to make some proof because of course, if I don't show any proof, it didn't happen. Okay. You can see here 48,000 um, USD from May 1st to uh, May 29th. Okay. Now, of course, this is not 51K. The reason is because we also got some wire transfers via transfer wise. All of this in just $626 of ad spend. You can see here it says from May 1st all the way to May 31st, $626. And you can see we were spending just $30 daily on ads approximately. Okay. So as you can see, this is how it's looking like. Now, I also want you to know something. In May, we had less than 1,000 subscribers. Right now, we're at 1,028, but today is June 6th. Trust me on this, we had just, we had less than 1,000 subscribers. And not only that, we had pretty much no content hamster wheel, okay? Because this is the thing, people who are selling you on their Instagram ad funnels or their Instagram ad offers, they are having you doing Instagram reels every single day, nonstop. And you can see here that I was, I mean, before I started doing this, I had just like three, four, five, six, six posts. And by the end of May, we make him 51K. All we had in post and in content was all of these that you see here. Only seven or nine pieces of content, okay? Now, of course, we do use content, but not the type of content everybody does, okay? AKA, we don't do any sort of chirping content, no weird dances, no necessary hand raisers to start messaging people who like your content. And just as a side note, it's funny because here's how most coaches and agencies look like nowadays waiting for followers to like their reels so that they can reach out to me like, hey, thanks for engaging with my post house business, right? This is how most of you guys are looking like if they're just relying on your content to see who raises their hands and then reaching out to them, right? Not saying that it's wrong or that you shouldn't do some sort of hand raisers now and then, but I mean, there are going to be some strategies way much more powerful that you're going to learn in this video, okay? Now, I just wanted to have this quick introduction so you can see that I'm literally going to show you what we did and it didn't require that much effort to be honest, okay? Now, some context, guys. It's now starting to become a trend to use paid ads to scale companies. Now, the problem is that the money with paid ads is not made with the advertising in itself. You will see soon that our ads are really simple, are just this Twitter post that you're going to see in a second. But again, the money is not made in the advertising in itself, but in the actual conversion mechanisms that exist in the backend to convert the attention that you paid for into actual cash, okay? Now, some of the trending mechanisms or, or, or models that people are using nowadays to scale their business are the following. And I want to go over every single one of them really quickly so that you can see what I mean. The first one is direct BSL funnels, okay? This works really well, but I'll be honest, it's low converting unless you bring a team of setters that call the opt-ins and your messaging has to be on point. Otherwise, you're, you're going to just burn your cash. Again, this can work at scale later on and can be easily applied in other platforms. For example, one BSL that you know is working with Facebook ads, you can just replicate on TikTok ads and YouTube ads because the BSL is always the same one, right? Um, but that should be after a 100K per more mark, okay? And people that are promoting this are, for example, Nick Cosmin, Cole Gordon, Ravi Abubala, Kai Bax, etc. okay? Again, works phenomenally well, but you need to have your messaging on point. And if you want to maximize the cash flow, you need to have setters calling the opt-ins, okay? This is the first one. Second option is people who are promoting Instagram shoutouts or Instagram growth ads or Instagram follower ads, etc. Which I'll be honest, guys, is just plain weird, especially since they're pitching an audience that just got to know you and you end up having to post a lot of content to hopefully get them to engage in your content so that then you can reach out. Otherwise, you will be literally attached to just messaging all of your new followers and be like, hey, thanks for following me. How's business? I'm not saying that it doesn't work. It's just super weird in my opinion, right? That's a good tool to have in your arsenal. Like you can just run some follower ads on top of the ones that I'm going to show you in a second. But again, it's just a good tool. It's not the best way to go around it if you want to maximize for cash collecting right now. 
with the hottest leads in the market and sells them on autopilot like you're going to learn on this video, okay? And again, some people who are promoting this are uh, Trey Cogron, Brandon Forbes, Jeremy Polk, Bastian Slot, and Richard Yu, okay? This is the way they are building their businesses. Now, third way to go around it, which is one of my favorites, to be honest, is the Facebook group funnels, okay? This is, by the way, very efficient, but highly dependent on fast-paced content that doesn't compound inside of the Facebook group, aka your content is only seen by the people inside of the group, meaning that, yeah, you nurture them super well, but you're never going to build an audience outside of that group. Plus, if you're relying on ads to grow, you need to build effective nurturing systems to improve the message visibility and email marketing automations, okay? Because this is one of the reasons I started to look outside of just Facebook because a lot of the people, yeah, I was making a whole bunch of cash. We still make a whole bunch of cash from our Facebook group. But honestly, guys, the problem that I was having there was that a lot of the messages are just not seen because not that many people are nowadays just on their Facebook messaging request. Facebook is at an all time low when it comes to engagement and visibility. So it needs to, everything needs to be so much, so on point to actually stand out and be able to convert the attention that you're getting. Okay. And again, this is the most effective one out of the ones that I just mentioned for beginners. But if it's not dialed in, in terms of setting and closing, it's just hard to make it profitable. And again, this works phenomenally well in our experience as a follow-up nurturing mechanism with people who book calls with you or if your audience is 34, 35 plus years old. Who are the people that promote this? Clients and community, as well as most of the coaches who are not broke, okay? Now, the last one is, and this is really common, webinars, workshops, and challenges. And honestly, this is just a straight up definition of roller coaster months. I hate them and I don't know why anyone would do this unless you are really wanting just to rely on launches and big things every now and then which I honestly don't like. If that works for you and you like it, cool. I just wanted to talk about this context because this is what most people are talking about nowadays and I want to introduce you to our auto conversion funnel that just basically uh, takes the best of sales letters and BSLs, growth ads to call traffic and the community or group funnels to initiate a never ending sales funnel that allows you to take people from cold leads asking for a resource to red hot leads in just 24 hours or even less, allow you to build an audience of followers who know, like, and trust you, making the sales process at least 10 times more effective and powerful. And I'll be honest, I've personally used all of the models mentioned before to grow my business, and this is the most powerful way to go around. I've literally done webinars, I've done Facebook group funnels, I've done direct BSL funnels, I've done Instagram shoutouts, and nothing compares to this process that I'm about to show you because it literally compounds the best of all of them in one single funnel that is simple, predictable, and just easy to apply, okay? You saw the results here. You are getting 50K for just $626. So nothing compares to this. Preliminary notes, the same framework that you'll learn in this video can be done on any social media platform since this strategy is platform agnostic. But this video is going to be all about Instagram, okay? Also, your first $5,000 should be done organically through album prospecting to quickly validate your foundational positioning and start having some cash flow that then you can allocate your marketing using this funnel and you can just follow the process in this video that I have on my YouTube channel, Daily Actions to Book 100 Sales Calls, okay? Now, just wanted to take that out of the way so that we can now talk about the actual funnel. Now guys, let me explain the auto-conversion funnel thesis. And this is going to be the first part of the video because again, I can mention before, this works in any platform as long as you have an entry point of your prospect. For example, a new group member, a new follower, a new message request, a new connection on LinkedIn, for example, you just need to have an entry point that allows you to identify the lead and you need to have the possibility to send a one-on-one -on -one message to that lead, okay? Like having a, an actual conversation. So let me explain. The actual auto-converting funnel is going to look like this, guys. You have organic and paid traffic methods that allow you to have either a new follower, a new member, a new connection with intent, okay? For example, on the Facebook group funnels, typically people send uh, an ad to a lead magnet and then people request to join the group. If that's the case, then the intent is getting the lead magnet. If you are running some sort of Instagram DM ads or something like what I'm about to show you, you're sending people a new resource or a new training that people in order to get need to send you a message or need to follow you, for example. Then the intent is again, getting that resource or getting that new insight that you are sharing on your paid traffic, okay? So again, you need to have intent in that entry point. And then the magic starts with that auto conversion that I'm going to explain, for example, in my case, since, and you will learn to have the full strategy in a second, on Instagram, I like to give a sales letter as the resource. And that sales letter is going to indoctrinate people into this exact process that I'm showing to you guys. And it's going to give them case stories. It's going to show them how this is going to apply. It has to be intrinsically valuable because that's what is going to make people be, become nurtured and trust you in your, in your offer, okay? If it's a Facebook group, you're going to have an introductory post. 
On Instagram, for example, you can see here, I have this star here. It's the only, let's say, catchy thing that I try to make with my Instagram because it's going to allow people to understand how they can get the most value. So guess what, guys? This is what is going to allow them to start the auto-conversion process, okay? Not only that, the magic happens because, again, you have the entry point, you deliver the resource or whatever it is that uh, you mentioned with your leads, okay? And then over here to put to to take them near to the actual conversion part you have appointment setting flows and then not only do i deliver the sales asset or the sales letter that is going to initiate the auto conversion i can then have conversations see what their pain points are what their struggles are and deliver a micro vsl maybe from youtube and then they're going to start watching some youtube content so it just nurtures and combines everything and it's just super powerful because pretty much anyone that comes as a new follower and start booking a call, okay? So let me just show you here. Okay, so as you can see here, we have two auto-converting forms, one for our Facebook group and then one for our Instagram. Now, everything that says we offer a book call is people that we've booked calls with. You can see here the amount of people we've booked calls with, the amount of people, etc. You can also hear, see here on our Instagram, same thing, guys. Look at this. All of you, what you see as book calls are book calls. Everything that you see on Talent Descent are people that I'm about to book calls with literally doesn't make sense how powerful this strategy is so just wanted to briefly touch this because that's what is going to allow you to understand the auto conversion funnel thesis in general before we hop into the actual strategy we use for it with instagram and here's how it's going to look like you have just one channel could be any channel as long as you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations for the sake of this example we're going to be using um instagram but yeah you get my point right the way with this looks like is you use your content and your ads to bring top of the funnel traffic that is fresh and new then you have your exact con your same content being the middle of the funnel that does most of the heavy lifting, converting your prospects for you. And then you just have the actual DMs or the actual appointment setting flows, bringing people from the middle of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel. And that's it. You don't have to call DM anyone. You will just send the resource promise via ads. You deliver that to them. And with your appointment setting flows, you bring people and book a call with you. That's literally it. Okay. Now, I want to now explain our Instagram auto conversion funnel specifically. Okay. And I mean, this is the actual flow. If this is the general thesis for an auto conversion funnel, I want to now show you the actual thesis specifically for Instagram. Okay. You can see here that we have YouTube call to actions, which are organic and Instagram DM ads to bring top of the funnel traffic. And we get now a new follower plus a message request from them. And this is the magic trick guys, because people that are sending you Instagram growth funnels or Instagram follower funnels, they are sending you followers. But then what? You need to still take the attention from that follower to a book call. Of course, it's not exactly a call DM, but it's always going to be taking someone from follower to a book call. It's way easier when you have someone that is saying, hey, I'm interested in what you said that you have to offer and you deliver that, they start to get out to convert it and then you basically see what their point points are and you get, get them on a call, right? So you get a new follower with a message request, like you can see here. Actually, let me show you here. All of these people are leads. All of these people are leads, people wanting our resources, people wanting us to deliver on something that we promised. And then once I deliver that to them, they are going to start reading the document, which is going to make them convert pretty much on autopilot at that point, right? So the process that we follow is something like this. So people ask or engage on our ad and they ask us for the specific thing. We send them the resource, okay? And we ask, they start asking questions and they start doing appointment setting flow. So it would be like, okay, are you scaling an offer right now or are you just looking to get started soon with your business? They start answering, we have a back and forth, and then pretty simply, boom, we book a call. That's literally it. It's literally so simple, guys. It, 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 you don't have to overcomplicate anything. It's just so straightforward that it really doesn't make sense how easy it is, okay? Then, guess what? A percentage of these people are going to book calls on autopilot without you needing to do anything, to be honest, because of how nailed down that sales letter is. Now, as, uh, so that's pretty cool, but there's always going to be a percentage of people that you need to manually go and do it. And again, this is why this is the best of all words. You're delivering micro VSLs via your sales letter. You're having one-on-one -on -one conversations with them. So you're having pretty much appointment setter flows, but at the same time, you're having intent because you're not just relying on new followers, you're re relying on people who want something from you and you can just deliver and take them on a call, okay? This is what it is. So that's pretty much the process and how it works, okay? Now, um, I want to show you here an example of an Instagram ad. In our case, what we're saying is just, hey, this is the new way to pocket 50K profit every month using one AI funnel, one MRR offer, and one simple ad like this one. So message, message me the word 50K to get a free action plan. Must be following. I'll be honest, not everyone follows, but some people will, and that's still cool because they can at least stay on our world, they can see our 
um, highlights or, or stories, whatever it might be, okay? And an example of a sales letter for auto conversion is this. This is an, the actual sales letter that we deliver to the people that ask, okay? So we might send them to a website, they might, they, we send them to a, to a YouTube channel, we send them to book in a call, we invite them to join our group. You see, like, you gotta make it heavy. You need to make it valuable and you need to make it a, an experience, okay? Like, people actually need to get a lot of value from this. You can see, I touch I touch a whole bunch of different topics. People get super excited when they get this because it's pr honestly more valuable than any other paper program that they have ever invested in. And that's what you want to do with your sales letter and your, and your ads, okay? So this is ultimately the goal that we have. And yeah, that's that's pretty much the, the example of the sales letter. Now, I also want to start to help you guys maximize for efficiency, okay? Because this thing that I just showed you guys is the funnel and the strategy on how you can convert those people on book calls. But there's always some sort of non-spoken facts on client acquisition that are super important and that most people neglect. I now want to explain that part so that you can also um, make sure that to get good results following this advice. But before we do that, I just want to ask you, if you are finding any value whatsoever on this video, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. But that's it, let's continue with the video, guys. So let's talk about maximizing efficiency on this process, okay? You want to see your profile as a website with personality, okay? For example, my website literally contains the same links and directions as my profile. So look at this, guys. If you go to my website, look at this. My website just have a simple headline and I send people to my YouTube channel, to my master resource folder, to case studies and to my community, right? Look at this, guys. Look at my Instagram. My Instagram literally has my bio, which is pretty much just a headline, sending people to my case studies, to my YouTube channel, to my community and to my useful resources or my master research folder. Same thing as my website. You want to treat your, your personal profile as a landing page. The best thing is that it allows you not only to have the same effect, but allows you to actually demonstrate personality, which makes it much more powerful than a typical funnel, right? So that's the first thing that I want you guys to understand. Second thing, in the case of Instagram specifically, the auto conversion will come from the sales letter and or the single call to action post. A call to action post is pretty much this thing that you're seeing here, okay? It's pretty much a BSL that is always pinned at the top of your profile. So anybody that comes to your profile goes and watches it, okay? In my case, I just send people to my landing page so that I can get their email. I get, they get also invited to my group and then they start moving all around my social media platforms and they just convert them by themselves even more. A lot of the conversion is going to come from the sales letter and that call to action post, but a whole bunch of people are going to convert through your YouTube content via stories. Remember, between one to three times per week, you're going to make YouTube videos and you're just going to share that on your stories. And your YouTube videos are going to be like this one. You just make a Google Doc and do a loom over that, okay? Free resources that will remind people of you, which is ultimately the goal with all of this, okay? That said, the magic in this process, I mean, that, that's like the foundational stuff that you do every now and then. The magic in this process is the appointment setting flow that you will do, and that's where the magic happens, because you're going to follow what we call a combo framework that stands for C of connecting questions, O of outcome questions, N for now questions, V for the event and O for an offer, okay? So I want you to do a quick demo on how this looks like. All right, so let's use this conversation as an example. I don't know, let's say um, this one, okay? So as you can see, again, the guy asked for something, AKA the ad, then I sent him the sales letter that made him convert, etc. And then first connecting question. Are you scaling an offer already? Just wanting to get started sometime soon? They reply, okay. I mirrored the response, love it. Yeah, much more scalable, but you can combine the models. How were you thinking about doing that transition? Again, another connecting question, which is low friction and makes them actually want to reply. And then they start to answer on that. Then I say, out of curiosity, where would you like to be? Where would you be looking to scale this business in terms of revenue? So guess what? Now we're not in the connecting questions. We're now in the outcome questions, okay? Like what the goal is. They're going to say something, okay, love it, man. Out of everything, what do you feel like you need most in order to hit that goal? So it was connecting questions, outcome questions. Now, like what do you, they feel like they need in order to get that goal? Like where they are at now? They are going to reply with something and then I do the event. So basically, once they actually paint me a picture of where they want to go, I typically do the event. So in this case, since this guy was so open and started to share so, more, so many things with me, I literally told him, hey man, listen, you're free to connect sometime tomorrow this week. Can definitely show you some of the frameworks that we've used with clients, etc. And yeah, we basically hopped on, um, we basically started going the back and forth and hopping my call. So pretty much, this is the process that we follow. It's pretty straightforward when it comes to booking calls. And by the way, let me check my calendar. Okay, cool. 
I still have time. So yeah, this is the combo framework. It's just connecting questions, outcome questions, now, like where they are at now, the band, like what do they feel like they need most, and then the offer of combo, okay? And that's pretty much the framework we use for every prospect to get them on a call. And then last part, how do you apply this for your own business or for your offer? So I would like if you actually go and watch and read the action plan because it's going to show you everything more in depth, but it's pretty much steps one to three of the action plan. So the first step is you're going to build a foundational positioning through market diagnosis. You're going to build a couple of pillars based on the problem, current market gaps. You're going to create one micro VSL per every offer pillar. Okay, that's going, that way you're going to have different uh, angles to tackle the market. Then, and you also create a sales pitch that allows you to incorporate those offer pillars in your offer. That's like the foundational part that you need to have in place. Then once you build that foundational positioning and those marketing claims and those, um, that sales messaging and that offer alignment, what you gotta do guys is actually validate through outbound prospecting, okay? And we use inbound prospect, um, an inbound prospecting methodology on one channel, possibly Instagram if you're watching this video. And what you gotta start doing from here is sending 100 reach outs per day, minimum, aiming to get replies. Now, people that reply positively, you add them to a CRM to get them on a call. You want to follow up daily with a CRM ads, and you want to close 15 to 40% of the sales calls and use that cash flow for marketing. Now, once you start having that cash flow for marketing, you scale with the auto conversion funnel plus paid ads that you just discussed on this video, okay? So guys, that would be pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you are looking to scale your coaching business, consulting business, or your marketing agency, go ahead and book a call with the link in the description. And I always like to recommend songs at the end of my videos. And for this video, I want to recommend the song 2023 by Novit, which is an absolute banger, guys. If you're, if you're looking for some reggaeton dances, some Friday nights, this is going to be the one, okay? Don't forget to like the video, share this with someone in case that you're interested in. And last but not least, subscribe to the channel. Speak soon. Bye.